Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you how I do my jumbo braids. They're super quick and super easy. Um, it took me a total of about three hours if I were to do it straight through without any distractions. Make sure that you go ahead and subscribe and make sure that you like this video. So I'm taking my hair out my ponytail that I've been wearing for about two weeks. Um, and since I have really bad dandruff, I'm going to be using the Sulfur 8 Scalp Oil. Um, it's not the news that I picked up. After having that sit for about five minutes, I'm going to go ahead and use the Shea Moisture Scalp Scrub. And I'm going to put that like all around the perimeter of my head because that's usually where I get my dandruff. After leaving that on for about 20 minutes, I'm going to go ahead and shampoo my hair with this dandruff shampoo that my dermatologist prescribed. I'm going to deep condition with this reconstructor and uh, protein treatment. I usually like to mix my deep conditioners. I feel like I get the best results when I do. So I went ahead, deep conditioned, detangled, and then I used the deep conditioning cap that you see here. I got this from Amazon. I think it was 42 36 dollars I think then I'm gonna use the Shea Moisture Hydrate and Repair leave-in conditioner I'm gonna spray that all throughout my hair and then also this Miracle Styler leave-in treatment this made my hair really soft uh, so I went ahead and put that throughout my hair and sectioned it off and air dried overnight if you want, you can blow dry your hair, but I just didn't feel like my hair needed to be blow dried and I wasn't in a rush to have my hair completed. So that's why I opted to go ahead and air dry overnight. The hair I'm going to be using is the Free Tris Braiding Braid 101 hair. I got it in the color 1 and the hair is 28 inches. I used a total of 5 complete packs. So each pack gave me 4 braids. And so 5 times 4, that's 20 braids on my head. One tip that I can give you in order to have like really straight, crisp parts, I advise you to use a metal tip rat tail comb um, and make sure the tip is very pointy. So the way I like to do it, I just like to find out wherever I want to part my hair at and then go straight. Uh, and then when I feel like my hair is not really even, I'll go ahead and lay that metal tip, like the metal part, I'll go ahead and lay it in my part. That way I can know that the comb is actually in the part and I can straighten out my part. I said part a lot of times, my bad. The gel I'm gonna be using is the Shining Jam in the gold yellow jar. That's basically the best gel that you can get. I even tried the braiding gel that comes in like the little red container and this one is way better. So save your money and get the gold jar. So I like to apply the gel all around the section that I'm gonna be doing. And then the quickest and easiest way, like foolproof, foolproof way to do the braid is I like to split the part or split the section in half, like I just did here, and lay the hair in the middle of the part like in that area that's open lay the hair there and then gather my hair back up and like twist it I guess you can see here what I'm trying to do or what I'm trying to explain 
And this is just a disclaimer. If you know that your hair cannot take rubber bands, if you like just completely hate rubber bands, do not do this method just because I'm doing it. There are other videos that you can watch that show you how to do a feed in braid, knotless braids. There's different techniques that you can use. So if you do not feel like your hair is strong enough for rubber bands, don't use it. Just don't use it. Okay? Okay. So I split the section, lay the hair in, gather my hair around it, twist it to make it kind of like tight, and then put my rubber band on. Once the rubber band is on, I like to go ahead and tighten it. And then when I do start my braid, I like to get my hair in each section. So you're gonna have three sections when you braid, right? Make sure that a piece of your hair is in every strand. I feel like that gives me like the sleekest look. So when I get to the end of the braid, I like to take a really, really small piece and wrap it around and then just like that. And then take another piece and tie it together. Like you're trying to tie your shoe, tie it together. And that's how I end my braid. So, um... <laughs> 
So just in case I wasn't clear about how I divided my pack up, that one pack is used for four braids. So I go ahead and split it in half, put that to the side, and then split that half in half again. After I took a break, I came back and clipped the straight ends that I had on the end. With braiding hair, it usually like, there's always like this random strand that's super longer than the other hair or braids. So I went ahead and cut that. And then I applied my Nairobi foaming lotion all over to kind of like set it in place. I then used my orange perm rods. I only had about five of them, so you can put more than one braid on one perm rod. So that's exactly what I did. I got a pot of boiling water and made sure I dipped each braid really well um, because with all the steam, I couldn't really see. So make sure that you dip really well. And make sure that you're really careful with this water because the water is like super hot. So make sure you have a towel on hand. So what I did when I took it out of the water, I just tried to towel dry as much as I could uh, without burning myself. I then removed the perm rods and then tried to like towel dry it again just to get the excess water out of my hair. And for the last step, I went ahead and put this, the main choice growth oil in my hair. I'm trying to grow my like perimeter out because as you can see, it's kind of thin. So that's why I did this protective style, um, just so I can leave my hair alone during this quarantine. Thank you. 
To go to sleep, I went ahead and put on my uh, silk or satin scarf, tied it around, and then just because I don't like my ends to just be free, I went ahead and put on my large bonnet and just put that over and fell asleep. And this is what my hair looked like the following day. So make sure that if you like this video, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and share. This was like four hours of footage that I had to crop down to like 17 minutes. So just like based off of that, okay? So I will see you in the next video. Bye.